Okay. On January 15, 2019, Chief Hoth presented a budget and budget increase request to the city to city council. <clears throat> the members of the Thunder Bay Police Association strongly support this increase. It is well known that the city of Thunder Bay is the hub of northwestern Ontario. As a result, we have unique challenges with a very high transient population and the influx of violent street gangs from the GTA area in southern Ontario moving into the city. While the focus has been on the recent, recently released reports that is important for city council to understand the daily challenges of the frontline police officers and civilian staff. Chief Hoth is doing just that and we support her in the request for more officers and funding. We also feel that, she, that she was being modest and cognizant of the police budget and the citizens of Thunder Bay and will, will help moving forward. It's important to note that on a per capita basis, the city of Thunder Bay has the highest violent crime rate in Ontario and almost double Winnipeg. Thunder Bay has 1,557 incidents per 100,000, while the national average is 1,089 for 2017. The Violent Crime Severity Index for 2017 has Thunder Bay second only to Winnipeg in Canada at 146. The national average is 80.26. What this means is the frontline staff, including civilian members in the Criminal Investigation Unit, are almost twice as busy as most police services in Canada. These types of investigations are time consuming and mentally draining for all of our members, which has led to an increase in mem members struggling and with PTSD and low morale due to low staffing numbers. Members can't, simply can't keep up with the demand and are doing the best they can with the inadequate funding and resources. We need to move from minimum staffing to proper staffing levels. The Police Association of Ontario has recently completed a study called the Municipal Data Benchmarking for 2018, which was conducted by Mr. Alex Arafuzman. The focus of the study was police costing in municipalities across the province. This study showed some staggering results. The City of Thunder Bay cost is at 8.9% in comparison to Barry at 17%, Sudbury at 11%, and Sault Ste. Marie at 15.1% of the city budgets. The results show that Thunder Bay is a violent city struggling with many social issues which as a result fall on the police services to remedy. The police service is grossly underfunded and understaffed which has been noted in both Senator Sinclair's report and the OIPRD report done by Mr. McNeely. We, the Thunder Bay Police Association, support Chief Hoth and implore City Council to fund the police service appropriately so that the citizens of Thunder Bay are protected. Thank you, the Thunder Bay Police Association Executive.